All right, so time to create the master asset. So I go to the cinematics folder and I'm going to go to animation and create a sequence just like a normal one, except I'm going to call it master. And we're going to do something a little bit different to it. What we're going to do is we're going to add what's called a shot track. So in the shot track, well, it's pretty simple. We have the tracks that we have. And over here, what we want to do is change this to like 30 seconds or something. It depends how long it is. We'll shorten that after with this red line. And uh, I'll go as far as I can for now. I probably, you probably will have a little longer with your students. So I'm going to click here, shot two. I like keeping them on the same thing like this. So uh, I recommend that you do that. They definitely need to be sequential. This plays first, second, and third, right? So that's pretty obvious. Uh, but, you know, I thought I'd mention it just in case. Uh, and then we're going to go and you could put your playhead right here and just right where it goes and then uh, so click shot and then we're going to go five and so let's have a look and to you have to press the camera for it to play so let's press play before we output it now we can still tweak stuff for our previs like lighting camera angles it's still possible to fix things that are are, are you're not satisfied with i'll just show you really quickly but i won't really be doing it so there's all my scenes and uh Pretty happy with that. And you see, one thing I definitely want to do is I want the red line here to, to be right here attached to the, to the end. Okay. So let's say I wanted to change the lighting, uh, for this scene. So if I click on it, um, you know, it's as simple as clicking on whatever it is that I need. And maybe I want, uh, let's say I want four for light. Okay. I, I would just, type it in that's it and it would make the change I could move the lighting I could even move the character over a little bit press save and then go back to my master sequence which is right here uh, and I'll just click here and it'll go back to the root um, and let's check it again so then you press play and you look at it you see like her eye here is a little dark so I could go and grab another light put it on just double click in here, uh, go get a rec light right over here, and I'll drag it in. Um, I'd have to unclick this just so I can actually uh, go in and, and do that. So there's my rec light. Do that one with the X here. I'm going to move it here, and I need to probably. So I just want, I'm just going to do one last one just so you can see. Uh, and I'm going to click over here and as you can see way way too bright so let's bring this down to like one just to fill light basically and so now you can see the character a little bit better so that's what previs is it's the ability to adjust on the go and you know I could tweak this more but uh, I think you get the idea is really what it ma what matters the most so now Maybe let's look at it one last time because before, you know, it's not that hard to output, but we want to make sure we're completely happy with it. So something that maybe with your students, they should uh, show you, you know, there could be a little more light in here, but I'll leave it like that for purpose of the tutorial. Um, and same thing with her, maybe a little bit more light. I really like those shadows. It really uh, creates, a, you know, a really cool effect. So there you go. So now I'm ready. So I'm going to click on this render button. So what it's going to do is render as an AVI. I can make it, uh, depends on your computer. I'm going to go with 1080. Uh, and the custom frame rate is 24 frames per second, which I noticed my whole sequence was always done in 30. So I probably should have the same uh, frame rate. Okay. Um, so that's uh, something by default. I just realized it's not the same and it will save it uh, Let's see where it's going to save it to and it'll save it probably the name of uh, of My project if I recall let's go D So I'll click select folder and I'm going to click capture Save selected in case it crashes. So this is going to take a few minutes and then what we're going to do is uh, and you'll see if this pops up, you know, it's working. Don't worry if you don't see everything that's normal and uh, it'll take a few minutes and uh, I'll just pause it while we're waiting. All right. So we'll, uh, I just opened my favorite video uh, player 
uh, and I'll see what it looks like. And I'm going to look for errors because I could re-export it again. So I see one right here. I forgot to uh, tweak the uh, the focus. So I could go back into Unreal Engine, uh, just change from manual to no focus, just all, everything in focus all the time. And I, I'll notice that I think the this scene is fine, but the next one has the same issue. So that's what's so great about previs. You can add the lighting, as you see. No, not enough lighting here. That one's great. Maybe we could add a little lighting to our eye on that side. So really happy with that. So basically, that's all you need, and you are done. So uh, enjoy the course, and I'm hoping uh, to see some really cool stuff and share it. Uh, if this is on my YouTube channel, I'd love people to share some of their links. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great one.